Good day, all my beautiful brothers and sisters in the world. Hello, how are you? Listen, we're in serious times. We're in serious, serious times, yeah? Whew. The government have just said that they've got, they, they, they have got millions of syringes with RFID chips in them as tracking, yeah, as tracking. They want to track the, 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 the vaccines. Is that what they really want to do? Putting a vaccine in you so that they can monitor whether you've had it. So right now, all the cards are on the table, yeah? All the cards are actually on the table right now. And it's our decision what you're going to do, yeah? What we're going to do. Are you going to just bend down and take a vaccine when inside your feeling is telling you that something's not right with this vaccine, yeah? What you're going to do. Do you want freedom? Do you really want freedom? Or are you going to just turn yourself into a dog? Yeah? Because that's what they're doing with the dogs, right? They, 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 they tag them. Okay, see you out here? See you out there? Usually there's loads of cows and sometimes sheep. All the cows' ears are tagged. Their product, this commercial enterprise, right? Yeah? So, are we going to be dogs now? Are we going to get tagged on this farm? It is a farm. It's starting to look like that. So I know this kind of stuff is scary, but now you've got to decide. You've got to decide now. It's your, t it's your, it's your uh, decision. Do you fall in line and take a microchip that inside you know that it's not right for a, for a virus that's killed, you know, they say a million people in a year. Well, that, flus do that. Is it a manufactured virus? That means that's warfare on the people. So I see warfare on the people, good people. Yeah? So I want to show you something. Actually, I want to show you something on one of my paintings, yeah? I've got paintings all over this place. So here, this is what I want to show you, people. This is the st our state of being right now. You see that? You see that? Somebody's getting attacked over there and everybody's head is just in, the, in, in, the, in their phones. So that's why I put their heads in boxes because our heads are in the boxes. We're like sheep. We're like sheep, aren't we? Nah. Yeah. When are we gonna wake up? When are the men gonna become men? Yeah, I know you're afraid. I know you're afraid because fear is in the atmosphere. Yeah, I know you're afraid. This is being actually engineered for you to be more afraid so that you give your, your rights away. Yeah, and it's been a slow, slow process to the point where we have no free, we have, we have no freedom. We just have the illusion of freedom. You need a passport to to get out of the country to travel freely. You need permission to do things that's fundamentally lawful. When are you gonna wake up and realize that you're actually a slave, yeah? A slave that being presented with a few consumables that make you think that you're free. And now then, you're really pulling it in. So if you want to be free, you don't have to ask anybody for freedom. You have to take it because it's your inalienable rights. Yeah, it's your inalienable rights to be free. You don't need anybody's permission. But the state, which is a dead entity, is giving you an offer. And the offer is bondage, tracking you, creating a smart city, which isn't so smart if you accept it. Yeah, so it's your, all your choice now. All the cards are on the table. Boris Johnson has actually said in one of his statements that we are keeping the virus, the virus needs to be kept at minus 
70 degrees. What does that mean? The virus needs to be kept at minus 70 degrees. Some people could say, oh, it's just a slip of the tongue. But I would suggest it's a Freudian slip. That's what was really on his mind. Yeah? So I can't tell people to take a vaccine or don't take a vaccine. I personally won't be putting that poison into my body. So now then they're going to make things difficult. Well, well, what can you do? What can you do? Yeah, you can't do nothing about it. Yeah, you can. You can say no. You can start storing up some food because they're going to coerce us to want to, to have that. So now it's your choice. They're going to coerce you. You can't go to work. You can't do this. You can't enter into this premises. You can't have this shop. You can go do your shopping, right? That's how it's going to manifest. They're going to coerce you. But a few people it can work with. But en masse, they can't do it. They can't do it. So be free thinking and be free. Be free. Nobody's your master unless you give them master, mastership over you. Yeah? Master ship. It's a ship. Right? And this is a sinking ship. Right? And, and, and to get off this ship is, is to go for freedom. So, there are those that can see, let them see. There are those that hear, let them hear. And we're in that time. All the cards are on the table. We know who, who all the players are. You know who they are, yeah? Because they're actually telling you who they are. They're telling you what they want. They're telling you what's coming in and you've got to sign to bring it in. You've got to agree to it. If you don't agree to it, it all crumbles away, it goes away. But if you, do, if you accept it, then you accept it, yeah? But what are you doing? What are you doing? You're gonna leave a situation, a system to be brought in where your, your children and your children's children, and I don't know for how many generations that we have to break out of it, yeah? You're gonna accept the mark of the beast, aren't you? Just out of your fear. Well, what can you do? You're gonna accept the mark of the beast. You don't realize that you're not your body, you're not the mind. You're the pure spirit soul, right? And you've been hijacked into thinking that you're this body. So you're scared because the, this is where you feel it. So we're in a fear vibration now, right? We're talking about all this stuff with black people. Be lack, people. Be lack, I'm proud, I'm be lack. I'm proud of being lack, I'm lacking, yeah? It's a mind, mind manipulation, it's a psyops, a psychological operation, yeah? If you check the old dictionary, black, B-A-L, B, B-L-A-C, old English means pale. It's all reverse psychology, everything's reversed, right? Be less, bless, oh, bless you, be less. Yeah, is that what we're bringing into our consciousness, into our lives? Less and lack. Yeah, so we've got to be more. Yeah, we've got to be more. And you've got to be brave. Yeah, cowardice and bravery. Cowardice and bravery, they're the same thing really. It's just like when you're brave, you're acting on it. When you're coward, you're hiding it's the same thing the person that's brave that so-called brave the hero he's also afraid but he's able to transcend it and that's what we've got to do as men and women and grown-ups we've got to stop this sh the, 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 the rubbish the entertainment it's not time for entertainment now that's the distraction yeah they're gonna want to throw entertainment at you, throw football at you, throw boxing at you, throw films at you, throw all this kind of stuff at you to keep you in your little cells consuming, right? So that's what you, so it's your choice now. It's actually, everything's in your hands. It's your actual um, decision in whether you take a microchip and a vaccine or you don't, or whether you put it in your children You've got to make that decisions now and live with that. Yeah, you can make the you can make the choice ignorantly, or you can actually do some research now. 
right? But we, we, we human beings, we have a thing inside us called intuition. We have intuition. And that's something that's niggling. Something's not right. You might not be able to pinpoint it, but you know something's not right. Something's telling you. Something's screaming at you. It's not right. And it's only your fear that's gonna make you ignore it. Yeah, not knowing who you are in reality. So, you know, the cards are on the table. I can see clearly who's who. I can see clearly who's who. I, can see, I know who the Prime Minister is working for. I know who all those civil service and all those politicians in every country are working for. Yeah, they're all working for corporations. The, the country is a corporation, you know that. It's registered and traded. And you're all employees. And some of your employees, some of you are just commodities to be bought and sold and you don't even know it because you don't know the administrative process of international admiralty uh, law, administrative law. You've got to start finding out who you are, finding out what your position is, okay, as a spirit being. This is a spiritual warfare that's going on. If you can't see it, you can't see it, yeah? I don't need to tell you about how it works because there's lots of stuff around for you to find out for yourself if you're interested. And if you're not interested, get in the line and have a microchip. Yeah, just get in that line, get your microchip, get your vaccination, right? Get, take your kids down there and get them done, right? And be a nice walking dead, be a sheeple. That we're usually walking around on this field here just grazing with your Nando's and your McDonald's and all your cushy comfort nonsense poison that you're putting in your body because you've been programmed. Start having original thoughts and start, stop watching TV and all that nonsense putting stupidness into your head, hypnotizing you, yeah? NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. And you don't even realize you're a victim of it. Listen, I don't really like talking like this because sometimes it, might, it scares people. But that's what I see. I work, as you can see, I work partially as a clinical hypnotherapy. And I'm, a, I, I'm an artist. I do art, vibrancy. But I also tell what's happening in the world through my art, okay? Because that's the way I can express it, apart from this format on the video. Right? And uh, trying to tell people things who can't connect the dots, it becomes very frustrating and then they turn on you, right? Plato's Allegory of the Cave. So I just make it in pictures now. I put it into, into, uh, into images. A picture tells a thousand words, yeah? What's going on here? Yeah? Oblivious. Oblivious. So, excuse me. <laughs> so anyway, one love. We can do it. You know you can do it. You know you can do it. You know you can wake up. You know you can do what's right. You know you can say no if you want to. I know your job. I know you've got your mortgage, your death grip. Yeah, you've got to pay that off for the next 20 years. I know that's a death grip. And you're frightened because if you don't pay, you're going to be out on the street. What's going to happen to your children? What's going to happen? Yeah? These are all the decisions that you've got to make in these times. It's up to you. What's most beneficial to you? For the now or in the long run? What about your children? What are the real repercussions of this uh, world where you're tagged? And monitored every step, everything, every all your actions are monitored. Everything you spend is monitored. Is that freedom? Is that truly freedom? Do you want to be free? Do you really want to be free? Are you interested in being free? Right? Because being free means getting rid of all that crap, all those Nandos and all that crap that imprison you. Yeah? So it's up to you now. Make your decision. Freedom or bondage, it's up to you. So, peace.
I hope you make the right decisions. I hope we can do it all as a collective because one or two people, it's all over. Peace, love, do the right thing.